Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm just doing an introduction to this video. Join me, I'm going down to Thomas Beckett Church down on Romney Marsh again, but instead of for a sunset, this time it's for a sunrise. And I'm hoping for big things, but I don't know what the weather's going to have in store for us. So join me and let's see how well this all works. Well, I'm sure the video quality isn't very good um, because it's very dark in here. Uh, it's only about 20 past six, so it's still dark outside. But I can see some gaps in the clouds in the distance. I'm hoping, hoping that they might actually be roughly in the direction that will work for me for this sunrise at uh, the Church of Thomas Beckett. So let's keep our fingers crossed. It doesn't look that hopeful, but Oh well, if you don't go and try these things you never know. And as I said, I'm on my way to work. I'm just taking a slight detour of a couple of miles um, onto Romney Marsh. Uh, and then on for a day's work. Normally I work from home. Um, I'm doing an awful lot of IT related work. But uh, today I've got to go in because there's a, a bit of a, a conference, a meeting going on that uh, I'm, I'm necessary at. So we can't do it via Zoom for various reasons. So I'm going to actually be in for an hour or so and then drive home. But I thought it would be a, a useful thing to actually take advantage of uh, being near to this location while I'm driving to work. So that's the objective. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Uh, there's a lot of cloud cover but there's a couple of gaps so with a bit of luck those gaps might light up they might not don't know yet we will see we'll see you when we get there well the light levels are slowly coming up uh, there are some gaps in the cloud there's a nice color in the gaps in the cloud I'm about 10 minutes away from the church uh, and I'm not sure how well this is going to work um, I'm hopeful I might be able to get an angle that will include the gaps in the sky and hence the colour in the sky. We'll have to see. Uh, it's purely guesswork. I came down here, as I said, on the way into work, so it's just one of those off chance situations, and I'm hoping I might get something from it. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Well, good morning. I made it here to the church. Um, the sunrise isn't quite what I was hoping for. In fact, it's not even close to what I was hoping for. But there's some quite stormy clouds. There's a little bit of light coming through the clouds. And there, as you can see, is the little church. And I'm going to see if I can get a shot with those clouds and that light behind. So I'll get set up in a minute and we'll see what we can get from here. bit of wind but I'm hoping the uh, dead cat on top of this microphone is going to keep that noise down. Um, as you can see uh, we're just across this little ditch or dike as I call them. I'll 
been a Lincolnshire lad, um, just across from the church here. It's uh, The light conditions aren't ideal at all, as I'll spin you around and show you. Um, I've got a bit of a reflection here. Uh, it's not as much as I'd like, but the water level's quite low. Uh, someone came here a week or so ago and uh, the water level was almost up to the stand I'm at, the level I'm at, which meant the uh, water was much more prominent in the pictures. But over in the distance there's a bit of colour in the sky. Um, as the clouds are scudding across it's making a bit of an interesting image. And I've just done a, a or I'm just doing a pano and basically I've got the 16 to 35 on and what I'm hoping to I can't quite get all of that in because it's clipping here and here so I'm taking a shot here and I'm going to focus um, exposure blend that and the uh, the clouds just disappearing over that bit of blue sky so I'll do this quickly that's a five second exposure and the clouds will be moving in this shot but never mind and I'm just going to spin it round this way so that I'm not clipping this side and I'll stitch them together in post-production and focused on just the other side of the uh, little stream here or dike ditch whatever you want to call it and that should stitch together quite well now the lights just gone the clouds have just gone behind the church and will uh, or at least the gap in the clouds which is the other side will actually just clear the church this side and I don't know if it'll expose any more sky and a bit more colour hopefully it will as you can see in the distance um, the water's quite disturbed there's a little bit of wind blowing which is obviously making the water less than perfect from a reflections point of view but I don't think that's too bad a little image here that we've got we've got that one and that one and there's enough information in the sky there's some nice moody clouds I'll be able to pull the details back out of the church itself in fact I'll probably take one shot just of the church exposed for the church and blend that one in with the other two so let me just put that exposure point on the church and bring the compensation up so the church is well exposed and I'll take that shot and in post I'll pull those together and you guys will see that picture in a few moments so I'm going to move around and I'm just keeping an eye on the sky because the sky is changing quite rapidly um, it's one of those sort of skies that you don't know if it's going to get worse or better so I'll give it another half hour or so until the lights well up or the sun's well up and then I'll see what happens during that time and if you see me again with a different composition That'll be because there's a different composition. So, see you in a minute. see but over in the distance this beautiful red glow lighting up under the clouds here that are scudding across the sky quite quickly and as I said earlier you never really know what's going to happen but I wasn't expecting that it doesn't show up very well on this little vlogging camera but that really is starting to look something quite quite interesting that really heavy sky and then that beautiful red glow just at the front of the church here so I'm going to take that shot again a uh, quarter of a second f11 focused on top of the church and that lovely lovely red so let's get that one in the bag i wasn't expecting that but i'm not complaining so i'm just going to make that a pano again so i'm going to have to exposure bracket that so let's get that shot and then one with the compensation so that the sky is not blown out which is that shot and then do the same there 
that shot and then bring up the shadows for that shot and as fleeting as these things are I'm pleased with that that as you can see in the distance the Sun is just starting to breach I don't know what time sunrise is but that's certainly that's working well for me so I'm pleased with those two images I'll see what else I can get here as you can see the clouds clearing slightly in this area here of the sky and that might bring some more color with it so I'm keeping my fingers crossed and that glow in the sky is really seriously very impressive I'm, I'm pleased with that so let's see what else we can get from here Well, for the sake of repeating myself, it's turned out much better than I thought it would do. Um, we just had some really, 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 as you can see, pleasant lighting happening. Look at the sky, the wind's blowing from roughly that direction, which is southwesty over there, and it's cleared away a lot of this cloud. The cloud's all disappearing off towards Ashford in the distance, and I'll be off to work soon. And look, there's some nice colour all around us and I'm pretty happy with where I'm set up here with the camera I might go a little bit lower and see if I can get more of a reflection of the church but the water's so ripply dapply that I can't and don't think I will but uh, certainly I couldn't wish for nicer sky than this so I'm just going to uh, set the camera up horizontally again and at 16 millimeter that's not quite level, it's, well, the level on the back of the camera says it's level, it's uh, pretty level, and I'm going to do that pano again, but with the sky that we've got, we've just lost most of the colour, we've still got a bit of um, red in the sky in the top of the frame here, in that part, before the shot's taken this part, and I'll just spin the camera round very slightly, I can't hold that with my teeth, it's not going to work, so let's do that pano again, focus on the church, tenth of a second f11, bring the exposure up, nice and bright so I've got plenty to work with, and spin the camera around again and get the bright one and then a nice one for the sky okay I'm I'm very pleased very pleased indeed um, there's some beautiful color in the sky as you can see if you look around behind me if I just tilt the camera up look at those clouds oh lovely 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 and the church is just acting as a nice silhouette there's some beautiful color uh, there's some cloud on the horizon which basically over there the other side of the church is blocking the direct sunlight so it's coming above that bank of clouds and hitting the clouds directly above me which you can see a nice beautiful pink color so all in all that's not turned out too shabby at all. I'm more than pleased, more than pleased indeed. I'll probably take a few more shots while I'm here just so I've got all the bases covered and let's put them together and see what we get when I get home. But I'm quite hopeful, as long as none of them are out of focus, that we haven't got some half decent images here at this little church, which is Thomas a Beckett Church. And all this water is because we're on Romney Marsh in Kent, not Sussex, as I think I said on the last video. This is definitely Kent, and we're out. We're only about four or five miles uh, from the coast and Lid, the little airport at Lid and Dungeness or Dungeness, and also the nuclear power station. And there's more colour happening in this sky as I'm talking, so I might spin round and move to the other side and try and get the church with the light that's happening in this direction and try and get the church from a shot roughly there on that little end spit of land. I'll go and have a look. Bear with me. <laughs> 